Hello, it's Scott Manley here. Now, as you may have heard, a SpaceX exploded on the launch pad this morning. And of course, many of you asked me a ton of questions about it. So I figure let's just record one of these quick videos to clear up what we know. So what we know is they were scheduled to perform a test burn of uh, the main engines. This would be a short 10 second burn. Uh, with the payload attached just to verify that everything was working. About three minutes before that, uh, something happened and everything exploded and there was a giant cloud of smoke observed and explosions and everything everywhere. There was nobody near the launch site, so nobody was injured. This was a test, you know, you don't have people near launch sites during tests. So that's the good news. The bad news is the payload was destroyed and the launch pad is probably severely damaged. SpaceX issued a statement saying that uh, the issue was on the pad. Now, some people took this to say that the problem was with the launch pad rather than the Falcon rocket, but they're either getting information from somewhere that I don't get, and that's entirely possible because some of the people are, you know, Eric Berger said this and he's very well connected, uh, but I'm not gonna say that. It could be the launch pad, it could be the rocket. Now, um, the Amos 6 spacecraft is an Israeli geostationary communication satellite. It was, uh, gonna sit over Africa and provide services to the Middle East and Europe and it, it, Facebook had actually leased a chunk of it to provide internet services to uh, parts of Africa so that's an unfortunate loss. So having a rocket explode, yes that's gonna mess with SpaceX's launch schedule. We don't know what's gonna happen just yet but they have two launch pads in Florida. 39, uh, 39A is the one that they're building out right now for the Falcon Heavy that was originally scheduled for December, but of course schedules are now subject to change. It could be that depending upon launch pad damage, they uh, focus on repurpose or they focus on completing uh, 39A rather than fixing launch pad 40. Presumably there will be an investigation that will mean that they can't just clean things up right away. Uh, there is a SpaceX launch scheduled from Vandenberg for uh, 19th of September, so that will probably be unaffected unless there is some concerns about the status of the vehicle. I would imagine that they have 20 days to do a whole bunch of checking their checking their data and you know, crossing their I's, dotting their T's and things like that. But there's no reason to suspect that uh, West Coast launches will be affected. So yeah, um, not sure if there's anything else. Oh yeah, people asked, is this a reflown booster or the flight tested booster is now what, or flight proven booster, that's what uh, SpaceX is now calling it. Uh, no, this is not a flight proven booster. That was gonna be flown, uh, that's scheduled for October or was scheduled for October. This is a standard one. It was basically built in Hawthorne, California and they can't do an engine test in California in the middle of LA. So they ship them out to a test site in Texas, in McGregor, Texas. There they will usually do a full duration two and a half minute engine burn to verify that everything is working. And then they'll furthermore, they'll ship that off to Florida and in Florida, they'll then mate it all up on the launch pad and a couple of days before launch, they will do a short uh, 10 second engine burn to verify everything is in place. And that's when the problem happened. So the problem actually happened about three minutes before the test burn. That would be when they were loading propellants and a number of other things. So there's speculation that it could have been, uh, could be related to propellant loading. Uh, SpaceX uses densified propellants, which nobody else does. That just basically means that they chill everything down even more so that it's colder and denser and so they can get more performance out of the same size tanks. Uh, that's all speculation at this point. But, uh, you know, we're going to find out more in the coming hours, coming days. And until then, I will be continuing to post my usual videos of rockets exploding in virtual terms. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.